I'm Graham, and in this vlog, you're going to get to see what Jeopardy night was like with our sister dorm. This is a bona fide tea boy because it's the best one yet. The origin of Jeopardy night was uh, just like any other brother sister event. Every hall has a sister dorm or a brother dorm, depending on which gender it is. So, our sister hall helped create a Jeopardy night. It was going to be guys versus girls. Guys had to answer questions that were uh, mostly only girls would know. Girls had to answer questions only guys would know, such as what was the release date of Skyrim. And then there were also physical challenges, such as a push up challenge for the guys or a uh, hair braiding challenge for the girls. Playing Jeopardy? Oh, I didn't think I was going to win. Like, well, yeah. At first, we were a little worried about who's going to show up. It was me and about three other guys in a classroom in Damas waiting for uh, more people to show up. And then, once my roommate John showed up, we knew we were in good hands. We have John. We're safe. So it was a great turnout, ended up being quite loud, and uh, it was a blast how many people showed up. It was one of the most well-attended hall events I've been to so far. stressful moment actually isn't on video. Uh, we kept choosing the wrong person for the challenges. For the first challenge, we chose uh, a guy who had no idea how to braid hair, but we didn't know what the challenge was going to be until after we chose the guy. And then my roommate, John, got chosen for the push-up challenge. <laughs> It was awesome. And then uh, I got chosen for uh, the next challenge, and it just so happened to be a Mario Kart race, and I'm absolutely terrible at that. It was the most stressful game I think people have ever seen played. My roommate Ben was right beside me giving me directions while everyone else was just yelling and screaming. The room got so loud during that that the police came in and thinking we had an illegal fight club going on. Really go for it. Huh. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Sideways? Yeah. Sideways and then... <laughs> 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 Sideways and then... Hey, we'll send it!
This weekend also got to partake in the five hour film festival. It's the thing the film department puts on. And uh, I was on the wait list because I, I didn't think I was going to get in. I signed up too late and I was about the seventh person down on the list. It started at nine and then I get a call around 11 that uh, the wait list, they needed me because it was a team that didn't have a, an extra person. So they divide everyone who signed up into teams of five or six and you had five hours to create a film just with your phone and as a team. So our group was uh, pretty fun. I came in at the tail end of things. So most of the planning was already figured out, but it was a fun event to learn how teamwork works and just be able to meet new people and work alongside of them. Our film wasn't that great, but it was a great time filming it. Uh, we had some actors come in out of nowhere and then we edited it and finished it just in time. Five, eight, seven, six, A new thing on our hall is the cone of consequence. There's been some people who just keep coming back after curfew or just are unclean or just keep breaking rules. So we instituted the, our RAs instituted the cone of consequence. You get your name put in there and uh, uh, every Wednesday night during call meeting we'll draw a name. And if your name is drawn, uh, you only get put in there if you've done something wrong. If your name is chosen, you get put through the, uh, the, the consequence pillow run, whatever you want to call it. Everyone runs to the room, grabs a pillow, and then uh, someone has to run through it. And uh, the goal is just to not get hurt. We've only done it twice so far, but it's been a blast both times. And I think it's actually helping people not break rules as much. Final thing of this vlog is an acting scene. Uh, for my acting class, me and a friend had to do an open scene. Uh, this is Ben, he did a good job um, acting alongside me. We interpreted this scene as a father and a son, and it went pretty well. It was my first time actually acting in an acting class, so I learned a lot, and I'm excited to see what the next acting scenes are. So that was this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing what Jeopardy Night was like and learning a little more about how the brother sister dorm hall events work, and uh, seeing the acting class, and then seeing the five hour film festival. Uh, I'll get to see the films next week, so the people did, and uh, it'll be a blast. Hopefully, I'll be able to film some of that. Thank you for watching.